Okay, here's a very simple demonstration where I'm going to take a piece of paper rolled up into a tube, I've taped it with some masking tape, and I'm going to roll it down this ramp. And we're going to observe what happens. Let's go do that. All right, so here we go, down the ramp. What? It fell under the table. One more time. Under the table. What's happening here? Well, in chemistry class, we're talking about pressure. And you really can't talk about pressure until you talk about systems where you don't have pressure. So what we're doing here is we're creating a low pressure area. We're creating a scenario with this tube as it rolls forward where there is less pressure in certain areas. Obviously, this tube was pushed under the table. You would expect objects to keep going, but this moving tube created a pressure differential, an area where there's high and low pressure by the movement of the tube. So obviously there was a high pressure produced in front or low pressure produced in back, and that's what pushed the tube underneath, kind of like a curveball or a soccer that's being bent. So let's observe one more time, and I'll explain it. Okay, so again, I don't like how that works, so let's make sure it goes under the table. All right, under the table. So what happened? Well, we have this tube, which is rolling forward. Now, as it rolls forward, it's turning. Now, it's dropping. Now, as it's falling, okay, and turning this way, we have some air currents that are coming with it. So as this drops, we have air coming around the tube. Now, by it turning this way, all right, think with me for a second. As this turns this way, as it turns, we have air hitting the tube and going up. And as it turns into it, I'm bringing some air into it. So I'm creating air that's rushing up this way and air rushing forward as it turns. We're, we're turning this way, so some air is being turned into the air coming up. That's creating turbulence here. And that's creating some disorganization of gas molecules that can push in all directions. Okay, that's going to be our high pressure side. Okay, but again, nothing you wouldn't expect. Gases can push in all directions. Now, what, is, what makes this really unique is that by turning this way, I have gas molecules that are coming up. By the motion of this turning this way, gas molecules are turning with it, okay, this way. And as I drop, just by the motion of dropping, I have air coming this way. If you notice, by the turning, air comes with the tube, and by dropping, you have air coming with it. So on this side, unlike the side where you had the turbulence, you have air going in the same direction by turning and by dropping. So you are organizing the air. The fluid, which is the gas, is now going faster or in a more organized pattern than over here. And by it being more organized going up by the turning effect and by air rushing going in the same direction, the gas molecules have less opportunity to push back because they're moving so nicely around the object. So their ability to, say, give off static pressure in this direction is decreased because they're more organized moving in this direction. Here, because you're on this side, because you are dropping it, okay, the air is hitting, is going against the grain, so to speak. By turning this way, okay, we have air that's being forced over the top downward and we have air coming from the bottom as you drop it, and you have two opposing airs, that's not organized. The air is all over the place, and it's able to push. The air that's coming on this side as you turn this way is, is moving with the air moving naturally as you turn, so it's more organized on this side. And because it's more organized, it's pushing less. Think of uh, you know, a grade school classroom, second graders or first graders, that walk down a, um, a hallway without having a line leader. They're going to bounce all the way around. But if you make them go in a straight line, they're going to spend less time pushing on the walls of the classroom. So if they're walking down this way, if they go in a straight line, all their movement, all their pressure is from front to back. They're spending less time pushing outward. And that's how it works. We created a low pressure area where there was more organization, where the school children are walking in a straight line. They're spending less time pushing on the walls. And on the other side, where we have disorganized air, they have the ability to push on the walls of this tube because they're going in all directions. So that's how this works again. Very neat, very simple application of Bernoulli's principle.